All right, let's go. What's up, everybody? It's Bozzy here. I am currently quarantined at my apartment in Los Angeles, California. Hopefully, you guys are all doing the same, so we're safe. But nonetheless, I am here today to do a special edition of 10 Things I Can't Live Without. First up is my MacBook Pro. As a creative being cramped up all day and not being able to go outside, this offers a release for me to creatively express myself, obviously on Ableton and create music and make beats while I'm trapped in here and play some of the stuff I've been, you know. And my next is my Gibson Hummingbird. This guitar is really special to me. She's amazing. I've written a lot of beautiful music on it. I've taken it to Asia and Europe and Hawaii and I use it on a lot of my last album. This is like my tour bus guitar. It's nice just being able to have instruments around all the time. I think, you know, it makes me feel a little less crazy in here knowing that any minute I can jump on the piano or jump on the guitar and just get something out if I need to. So yeah, this is my baby. Nintendo GameCube. I grew up on this. This was pretty much my childhood in a box. One sec. So right off the bat, these are just about everything you're gonna need to enjoy yourself for the next few months of quarantine. We got classic Super Smash Bros. And Mario Party 5. Mario Party 5 is an unbelievably entertaining game. It's probably occupied most of this quarantine so far, so. Next on my list, the classic, classic, classic Legos. If you look at all my essentials so far, you probably think I'm, I'm a five-year-old boy, which is pretty accurate to the spirit that lives inside of me. But when I was a kid, I actually always tried to build Legos and just had the craziest ADD. I could sit down for like five minutes and would end up stacking them up in a stupid, random manner. As an adult sitting down and doing these, it's so peaceful to just read directions and you know, do something that's almost purposeless and has no external reward or anything. And it's good for the mind, I think, to just focus on something and accomplish it. So, yeah, Legos. We got the stack of Legos for the quarantine. And one of my best friends and definitely important essential in the crib is the couch. Growing up, the furniture that we had and the furniture that we used was never like a choice or a selection, you know. We basically got the hand-me-downs of furniture from family or friends and it was just something you had. It was never something that was specific and tailored to your taste. So this was the first piece of furniture I bought. Every time I sit on it, it's, you know, a little humbling reminder that, you know, even the little things, you know, can change at this level. But yeah, I love this couch. We get down on it, baby. And next on the list of essentials, art supplies, as simple as that. I think this is important. I think if you claim to be an artist or whatever it is, if you're not, I think this is healthy for everybody. The Blake acrylic colors, design books. This one's actually really cool. It's the art of architecture. Um, some brushes in there. We got the canvases in here. I can actually give you an example of what I mean by saying that you do not have to buy anything to be an artist. I'm a very impatient guy, especially with art. I like things to be immediate. I like that's why I like music because you can create it so quickly. I get stuff in my brain and I'm, I'm very eager to get it out. So this is my ADD artwork right here. A lot of my art, I do really strange personal stuff. Like under this, I wrote a whole just kind of brain flow onto this artwork, and then around this end, and then I just. Oh, you know. Next we have a very important element, and I hate to say is one I've been indulging in a lot during this quarantine, is the spirit section. We've been drinking a lot of wine. This is actually my favorite bottle of wine. This is an Opus one. Delicious. I, I like anything in life that people pay specific attention to the details, which is these wines. There's so many things and there's so much specificness to it in the creation of it, so I like it a lot. We'll be done with these in like the next three days, but after you get to see them before they disappear. Next. So my fridge is 
pretty green. You would think I was a super healthy guy if you saw this, but I live with two vegans, my girlfriend and her twin sister, so. I'm like an 80% vegan. I definitely try and like remain that lifestyle for many reasons, but we got the Beyond Burgers, they have vegan veggies. Wait, we gotta check the food out too, actually. Put some. All right, we got some classic dessert options. This is when I said I was 80% vegan. This is probably when the other 20% comes in. It's with these Snickers ice cream bars are unbelievable. These are a gift from the heavens. These are a magical, magical creation. The Incrustables, of course. Gotta have the Incrustables. Scribbles, if you know, you know. Scribbles are a call. This right here is my white baby grand kawaii piano. I love this in the place. I mean, when you walk in, it's right there in your face. I like the idea of friends being over and at any time they can jump on the piano, whether they know how to play it or not, or the guitar, and just feel creative in yourself. I spend a lot of time on it. If it's three in the morning, just getting ideas out, or, um, you know, waking up in the morning and sitting here with coffee, this is a trusty ski. And this right here is the view. This is super essential. It's very important to me. It's actually probably like the main reason why I moved in this place. It just feels so open. And a lot of the views in LA are filled with buildings and traffic and smog. This one's just so green. It's nice having a place to kind of come out, you know, when things feel so big in your world to kind of look at things and realize that your problems may not be as big as you think they are. Okay, everybody, that's a wrap. I want to thank GQ for having me. Times are really tough right now. I hope everybody's staying safe, and I hope you enjoyed the video.